Okay, so here we're going to talk about uh, defensemen playing on the blue line, all right? So your team has possession of the puck down low, and you're up on the blue line, and what, what are some of your options? Okay, so now we're going to talk about when you get the puck. So here, if you get a pass, all right, what are your different options here as a defenseman? Now, the key is going to be knowing where that forward is, okay? So one of the best plays that you can make as a defenseman is to be able to walk that puck to the middle quickly. This defenseman can back off a little bit, all right? That means if, if uh, you're on the right side and you're a righty, you're going to be opening up backwards skating, all right? You really have to drive, and it has to be instinctive. As soon as you get that puck, you need to read that that forward's just a little bit off of you, and you're going to make two or three hard backwards crossovers or even just think about lateral almost lateral crossovers. Okay, so you're just going directly across, really grabbing as much ice as you can, so it's two or three strides and you wanna be over to the middle of the rink, all right? Because that's gonna be really hard for this forward to stay with you, and that's the key why you wanna be moving so quickly. So you don't wanna just make little, you know, small little crossovers and not getting any ice. You wanna go, you wanna go laterally as quick as you possibly can there, and then open up the hips and shoot, or, if you're on your forehand side and you're a lefty, you know, it's the same thing. You're going to pull that puck across, skate, open up, and then you're going to get a quick snapshot or slap shot. Or if you have this guy collapsing on you, now you can hit your defender, that your defensive partner there. So really your best option is taking the puck to the middle of the rink and moving quickly and, uh, and not hesitating because if you hesitate, that forward is going to collapse on you. Okay, so one of the most important things that I tell defensemen and I work with defensemen on when they're creating the scoring opportunity here and how to create good scoring opportunities from the blue line is when you're pulling the puck to the middle of the rink, I mean, what does that really do? What does that really accomplish? I mean, this forward can even be in the top of the circles coming at you when you get it. But the key is here, he's taking away that shooting lane. So if you start to walk to the middle, now immediately most forwards are just going to follow you. Okay, meaning that you have space here to shoot. And the more you go, the more they follow. All right, and that's always a great situation to be in. Very rarely will a forward, if you start to walk to the middle and a forward's coming on you, will they just cut straight across and stay in that shooting lane? Hardly ever have seen that happen. Always they're turning and following you. So even if that forward is a couple stick lengths away and you get that puck and you can walk to the middle quickly, take advantage of that situation because they're just going to be following you. And if you beat them to the middle of the rink, you know, typically you can walk, walk in a couple steps and rip it. All right, now you want to take a quick shot here. If there's another, you know, defenseman or forward collapsing on you, you don't want to wait for them to get all the way out on you. You want to actually shoot, again, what through the screen when they're just a couple stick lengths away so your shot doesn't get blocked. But even if you have an opportunity here to fire it, fire it. If, uh, you know, if you don't have an opportunity and that forward's right on your tail, you want to get a snap shot or even a quick slap shot, that's fine too. But this is when a really low slap shot is most beneficial. So the, the backswing stays below your hip on your slap shot and you're getting a low, hard, quick, slap shot. All right, so changing the angle of that forward is very, very key, and it's even another example if that forward's coming from down lower, all right, now you're really going to be able to walk it in because they're going to they're gonna turn, and now you've got this whole area here. Now, very important, another thing to think about is facing forward when you're walking in. So if you just skate and turn here this way, your sight line now is from here to here, it's this side of the rink. So if you keep your shoulders square and you're crossing over ver uh, horizontally across the blue line, now your sight line, you know, is all of this ice right here. So maybe you see a guy, you know, forward coming back door that's open on the weak side, just the area you left. All right, maybe there's a forward sneaking over here that you can move it down to. So keeping your sight lines available to you is really, really important. So one of the keys when you're talking about having the puck on the blue line and taking that puck to the middle is changing the angle that that forward's attacking on you, which is gonna give you a shooting lane, and it's gonna allow you to either take it to the middle and shoot, or even take it to the middle and walk in and shoot if you, if you beat him clearly to the middle of the ice. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna talk about here is when you get a pass or you get the, you get the puck off the boards, all right, and that forward, and that is coming right on you. Okay, what you don't want to do is you don't want to skate in to shoot the puck because now you're just taking away your own time and space. I see a lot of players doing that. What you want to do is you actually want to 
Pull the puck back and rotate your hips around the puck. All right, and we're going to be working on that in our off-ice training drills. You're pulling the puck into your body and you're rotating your hips around the puck. So now you're keeping that space away from the forward and you can get a good, quick snapshot. Here you're going to get a good, quick, hard, low shot on net, shoot through that screen. So in this situation, most defensemen are just going to put it back down in the corner and that's okay too. But if you do this properly and you get it good at this, all of a sudden you're creating a scoring opportunity for yourself. Maybe it gets deflected, maybe it gets tipped, a scoring opportunity for your team. All because you were able to handle that puck, stay on the blue line and create an extra two or three feet for yourself by not skating in and getting a good quality shot on net. So those are your three options as a defenseman. We're walking it to the middle, all right? We're beating, that, we're beating that forward and potentially walking it in. And, you know, we're either going to get it, and if that forward's right on us, now we're going to make a quick rotation of our hips, keep that puck on the blue line, and get a good quick snapshot without walking at all. And that's got to happen quick, all right, because that forward's going to be right on us. So those are your three options, and we're going to practice all of those, and we're going to train all of those, because getting that puck on the blue line is a great opportunity as a defenseman, and you want to make the most out of it.